I am super excited if it loops. Wait. I use no my controllers off. Why did you load that? I'm pretty sure I need to play this with mouse and keyboard. Oh no, did I freeze the game? Am I a bad gamer? I think I froze the game. Oh no. <laughs> uh, and then I have the game and I, I just I broke it. Just broke it. Okay. <sighs> okay. Disco and the disco. The end of the disco. Right. We're gonna try it again. Come on, game. Work for me. Work for me, please. We're back to smoky screen. Smoky screen froze. Disco Elysium. Freezing. View page. Don't tell me this is an issue. Well, I'm hearing the game now, and it is rather loud. That was only slightly terrifying. Okay. While the game struggles to load, I'm scrolling through Steam. Uh, what the fuck? Okay. Like, there are people complaining about the game not, like, loading and shit, but I have yet to see... Like, I don't see a solution. I would like a solution or something. Oh, do you really want to know? Holy shit, that was four minutes of this game just chugging. <laughs> like, this game doesn't look like it's gonna be um art okay well we always create my own character okay intellect Bra raw brain power how smart you are psyche sensitive how emotionally intelligent you are physique how mus your musculature your musculature how strong you are 
Motorix. Your sense is how agile you. Um. Bert. Okay. So I have three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight points. We'll do that. That sounds like fun. Oh, your signature skill. This will gain you plus this. Yeah, the skill you select will gain a plus one bonus. Additionally, the learning cap for every skill of the same type will be raised plus one. Delicious. Okay, hold yourself together. Keep your morale up. Okay. Punches and good feeling. Dreams and walking life. Hmm. What the fuck does that mean? Understand others. Work your mirror, mirror neurons. Authority. Intimidate the public. Assert yourself. A spirit decor. Connect to Station 41. Understand cop culture. Oh, how well I'm just... Okay. Charm men and women. Play the puppet master. Endurance, okay. Shrug off the pain. Electrochemistry, shh. What does electrochemistry do? Go to Party Planet. Love and be loved by drugs. <laughs> Raise the hair on your neck. Tune into the city. Half light. Let the body take control. Threaten people. And eye coordination. Ready, aim, fire. Okay, so there's a lot of here. Deduce the world. Call upon your all your knowledge. Produce fascinating trivia. Rhetoric. Practice the persuasion. Okay. I'm liking this. I th I'm gonna set... Nah, actually. I'm gonna set this. I'm gonna go with empathy. We're gonna be empathetic to people. I mean, that's not like a cop at all, but still. That's the cop we're going to play. The Furies are at home in the mirror. It is their address. Even the clearest wonder is deep enough. If deep enough can drown. Kai? There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. <laughs> okay, so that's my ancient reptilian brain talking to me. Ever. Never. Ever. Simply keep on non-existing. And an audience amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. The fuck? Uh, give me some more. You got it, sweet brother. Nothing upon nothing upon nothing. Oh my god. Like... Yes! <laughs> How about you cough up? How about you cough up some more of that sweet oblivion? Coming right up, sir. Smooth passage. Alonzi, let's go, or I want to get off now. I like pain and burning light. I want to. No! All right. Nothing town to fuck all borough. <laughs> oh, I am deeply amused so far. Uh Look, there's a I am tired of this type of animal. And who gives Not this shit? You. Your days of giving a shit and being that type of animal were over. 
The song of death is sweet and endless. But what is this? Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meet around you. A sensation. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert, hurting, longing, dancing to disco music. But the, I, I don't want to. Volition, medium success, you can take it. You're a champion. Mother, help me, there's a head attached to my neck and I'm in it. Stop, I don't want to hear anything more about this sensation. Take me back to the formless, disembodied nothing. No, I'm... I am not scared. I am a champion. The stench of liquor rises from your mouth, and with it, an ungodly headache. A fiery streak penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound. I suppose open my eyes. What the fuck is that sound? Okay, right click and I can click on things. Take. Item gained. Oh, okay, so that's to zoom in, that's to zoom out. Perception hearing. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. Push them out. Perception. Sight. It says whirling rigs on the aluminum key ring. There's a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Okay. Take off. Disco ass blazer. Yay. Take off. You see bottles in the bathtub, wine, beer, and sweet liqueurs. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine in a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped the faucet off. Hot water sprays from the base and steam covers one mirror the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Wipe the mirror. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror Inland Empire. Easy. Success. Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see, will see there, and you'll never unbecome it. Maybe I should touch it first and make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. What? What's wrong? What's wrong with my face? There's the bloatedness, the swollenness. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. I'm sorry. Touch your nose. At least my tongue is okay. Ah, oh, wipe the mirror now. Well, that's not too bad. This is the face of a late-stage alcoholic. Too late. You clearly have the rigor mortis on your face. Or wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? I'm not making it. The face is making itself. I have no idea why it's there. It just is. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. You couldn't stop if you wanted to. It's neurological. Okay. Oh my god, you can't stop. It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face and now it won't come off. Superstar. Superstardom? God, I don't know. It's indescribable. I think it's supposed to look suggestive. I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. 
I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off, too. In a sad has-been kind of way. There is some charm to it. It's an expression of pain. Uh, we're gonna go with three. Please promise yourself that you are not going to try it on any of the ladies. Whatever happens. I, I promise. Oh, I gained experience for that. You liar. You can't even tell the truth to yourself. Go ahead and try something. Uh, we'll try one. Oh, I failed. Like the rest of you, it comes from a bad place somewhere in the past. That's all you know for now. Oh, I failed both checks. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Oh, I can click on this too. Ceiling fan. The fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Inland Empire. Or has it been consigned there as punishment? You feel as though this creature is your friend, and wants to reattach itself to your neck, so that you may continue your adventures together in this strange world. Savor Fair? I got. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, pull on the fan, pull on the light bulb. Uh, we're gonna pull on the fan. The, the blades come squeaking to a halt. It should be easier to reach the tie now. Wait. Okay. Oh, I, 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 I passed it. I passed the check. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. Warning, warning. This next tie is no longer contained. Ceiling fan. What you have in your hand is a fantastically colorful tie with four or five different patterns, but not reminds you of a noose. Alright, uh, What's this? The magnum sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. Why would you do that? This reel-to-reel -reel tape player is still on, rolling empty. Take all. Wait, that's only my left shoe? What in the fuck? Um. Uh, okay, so I'm... Oh, I only have one shoe. Why do I only have one shoe? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. Let's go out into whatever this is. Okay, what's over here? Is there stuff over here? There is stuff over here. What is this? Yes, I want to check out what's on the table. Oh, we stole someone's money. What's this? Oh! Hi. Did I leave the building? I may have left the building. Oh, hey, there's the other shoe! Why the fuck is the shoe over there? Why? It was Riva Shoal. What is this? Secret test complete. Find your other shoe. Gained experience. Plus ten. Composure. There they both are. Two identical shoes. Both can... Copiously? Copious? Copiously? Okay, we gonna poop some shit. Uh, where is... Where 
is. Bounds. Oh, yes. Please. Copiously. Copiously. Uh huh, I got it right the first time. I've just never. Oh, God. Green and indiscriminately snakeskin. Reunited on your feet. How do they fit? Good. They're balanced. Comfy. Feels like the only good thing I'm. About you right now, truth be told. Oh, well, that's not good. Uh, the parba twenty-six centigrade arid. What's it say? The calendar says it's March. The year is fifty-one. Nineteen fifty-one. Hello, officer. Miss Orange. Disco to answer. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Officer, am I military personnel? Uh, no. She seems perplexed by your question. There's only one solution to this. You're a businessman. I know I'm a police officer, but I'm gonna go with the young woman shakes her head slowly. Okay, chief technical no, officer. You're a police officer, sir. Are you I sure? Am, yes. Unless you've been feeding us a set of very well rehearsed lies all this time. She takes another drag. All this time. You've been here for three days on official police business, no less. And what business is that? I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly <laughs> drinking. Wait, does my stream information say, uh, Sims? Oh god, I would be really sad if it said Sims. Okay, thank god. Hey man, what you been up to? Okay, what the fuck am I gonna say? Uh, I couldn't say, in truth, so far I'm mostly drinking. Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Who in their right mind would let me be an officer of the law? Suggestion challenging. Try the expression on her. Let you know you want her physically. Ah. Were you just taking a break? Or... Did school start? I mean, I know school started for you, and you had to probably go back to that. Was that what's taking your time, or...? Okay, I'm gonna go with two. Don't be so harsh on yourself. They let almost anyone be a police officer. Authority and medium success. A glib remark. Don't let it stand. Assert yourself. Actually, I can see why they wouldn't trust me with the law. I have the right character. You better let it go. I'm just gonna let it go. Um, okay, so I don't know if you caught the beginning of this game, but it started with my reptilian brain telling me I was great in the dark abyss of nothing of sleep world, and then my pounding headache woke me up. And then I had to talk to the mirror, and the mirror showed me my face, which was ugly. And the mirror tried to make me promise never to smile at a woman. And then I also had to find my clothes. Yes, my reptilian brain. And for some reason, one of my shoes was not inside my apartment. It was not out on this balcony, it was on the outside balcony. I got nothing. Okay. Retreat is not a winning tactic. See, and right now, if you notice, authority is talking to me, and authority is one of the skills. Retreat is not a winning tactic. One, why don't I remember being a cop or anything else?
Okay. Could it be because of the drinking? She raises an eyebrow. The cigarette sizzles. I'm not trying to. Of course. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. Okay. Continue. She looks back at you, a light glinting off her Goodbye. eyes. Um, okay, so it's been established that the smile is his way of letting know women he wants to fuck them. And I just don't feel like unpacking that baggage right at this second. Looks like she left a nice long stub in the ashtray. It's still smoking. Electrochemistry. You should pick up that fat, juicy cigarette butt from the tray, light it up, and smoke the living shit out of it. Ah, oh, Jesus. So, electrochemistry is my brain telling me that drugs are good. And I should befriend drugs and take all of them. Uh, two, am I a smoker? Who knows what you are? A monster? A murderer? The gnome of Jeroma? You feel like a smoker, especially when you look at that juicy, succulent, seductive cigarette stub. Still smoldering deliciously. But she broke it off at the filter. I can't smoke that. How very astute of you. This renders it ineffectual. You should look for a whole cigarette, or better yet, an entire pack. Strike that, a carton. Make sure they're all healthy and able-bodied, then smoke them all. The idea seems to make your neck expand. Suddenly, the garish tie feels very snug. Volition, medium success. Or you could not do that. No one is making you. Um, I'm gonna go with three. Good, they'll make you strong and better. You're too old to be now. You're too old to be cool now, but cigarettes smoke them. Blam. Instantly a cool renegade man, a mysterious red dragon with smoke rising from his nostrils. Oh, oh, I did not mean to... See, I meant to say that I shouldn't smoke, but I... Chose the wrong one. Okay. Oh boy. This is the weekend edition of the satirical news player, newspaper, Trump Le Monde. Smoking is a no-no. I know. Uh, I tried to say no, but then I chose the wrong option, and my brain said yes. My brain said, fuck yes. <laughs> oh, God. So how's work been for you? Okay, what is this? This is where the lyrics would be. Oh, this is a music stand. A shitty music stand. But still, a big old karaoke mic. Just waiting for someone to sing into it. Oh, good for you! I am super happy that you went full remote, because, like, we're still in the middle of a pandemic. Oh, and I'm working at a gas station now. And I want to say... Out of my regulars, only one or two wear masks, and I get like 15 regulars a day. Um, well, it's horribly mismanaged on every single level, so I kind of hate the job. But also, I don't have to try too hard, and no one gets on my case, so like, it, it, it has its perks. It has mostly downfalls, but there are some perks. Um... <laughs> yeah, no. Minnesota's crazy. We're on... Oh, and... Okay, so... My gas station's company policy is that we should be asking every single customer 
who comes in why they aren't wearing a mask and offering them masks, but A, we aren't doing that, B, we don't have like disposable masks anywhere in the store, we don't even have them for sale, so we can't offer them to people who do want them, and C, I was told by management at the store level that, you know what, don't even bother to ask anyone. So, yeah, that that's my job. Okay, Inland Empire. You should totally sing karaoke here, the first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know of your vast oceanic soul. My soul is immense. My soul is modest. Uh... My soul's cubic content is obscured by the hangover. I'm gonna go with my soul's immense. Utterly, and it needs to be heard. Through a PA system. By other people. Half light. Medium success. Whether they like it or not, ram it up their ears, says your adrenaline gland. <laughs> Violently express yourself. <laughs> yeah, so, uh... Yeah, no, that's... that's... That's my job right now, is, like, I go to work and I'm forced to wear a mask. All of my fellow employees are forced to wear masks. We have people there who don't fully believe in the virus. And by which I mean, it's not that they don't believe that the virus is real, they don't think it's as bad as people are making it out to be. And it's like... Yeah, it is. It is really that bad, especially with the new mutation and. Oh. But yeah, no, I got I got a lot of people at work I don't like, it, mainly because they're stupid. Um. I just. I don't know. So, I've uh, kind of forced myself back into streaming just to uh, force myself into new games in order to, like, just have something that is mine and just be able to, well, not relax, but do something that isn't work related that gives me something. Yeah, and like, the job pays me enough that I'm able to get a lot of stupid bullshit. Like, I just bought 360 ish dollars worth of mic equipment. Like, I bought a Rode Pod mic along with an arm boon, a boom mic stand, the arm thing that you shove the mic into, along with the cord, and the XLR adapter to USB. There we go. I said the things. <laughs> okay, half light, medium success. Okay. Okay, what should I sing when it comes to it? Inland Empire. You have not stumbled you have not yet stumbled on the right lamentation. But it's out there. It'll come to you. You'll wreak havoc with it, don't worry. Um Lamentation sounds good. It'll really get a gauge on my soul with that. I was thinking maybe I could sing something happy. Get the people going. I'm gonna go with happy. No, no. Don't sing the happy song. It's stupid. Sing the sand song. It's profound. You have to find something tragic to sing first, though. Aww. <sighs> Uh, I'm a sad boy cop. That's... That's amazing. Gart, the cafeteria manager. A man in his late twenties stands behind a counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. Oh, by the way, um... I added an EQ and a bunch of other shit to my voice. Is it cutting out weird or anything like that? Empathy. Easy success. Okay, good. I was worried about that. <laughs> I'm always worried about that. Partially why I spent an absurd amount of money on 
like, but, you know. Okay. Empathy. Easy success. That was disdain in his eyes. Even now, he's purpose purposefully ignoring you. When something tells me you don't like me, look at the stuff bird. Three, are you the bartender? Oh no. You're a hero. A real hero cop. So not only am I a cop, but I'm also a hero? I'm gonna go with two. Am I? Or did you ride in, take the body down, solve the murder, and not trash my hostel room? Oh my god, I did all those things. No, you see, actually, you didn't. You haven't done anything even remotely useful since you got here. Okay, what have I been doing then? Have you seen me no, around? I haven't seen you around. Not always here. He looks down at the bird and keeps plucking at the bird. <laughs> what? Okay, so what accent? Like his vaguely European accent? Three, are you the bartender? No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. Yeah. Like, is it big? I don't know what accent that is. Three mm. Anderson. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna leave him alone before I continue to piss him off. Oh, okay. The menu has been wiped clean. Only the word Monday is written on it. This is a large water cooler. A large bubble is rising to the surface. Oh, there's more shit over here. I love this game so far. A sign reads, Mess Hall reserved for union members. Door open. 16 o'clock. What is that? Four? I want to say that's four. The Royal Pinball Machine is unplugged. We're going to talk to the old Hello, one. sweetie. Lena, the cryptozoologist's wife. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. She nods towards the man in the orange bomber jacket. Ah, so that's my colleague there. Kim Kitsuragi, a bespectacled, 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 a glassed man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone, you. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. A spirit decor. If an assault were launched on this building right now, if the windows came crashing down, the whole and the whole world and the whole world descended upon you, this man would would hurl himself in death's way to save you. Are you you are sure of this? But why? Hold on. Who is he to me? He is your half brother. Hello, I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Prison Fifty Seven. You must be from the Forty First. You realize he is waiting for your name. I'm gonna go with two. Oh, I successed. Concentration makes you squint your eyes. Your name should be deep gold and orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon, but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it, but there are still many to go. I don't really know my name. Okay, then. He processes the information, then disregards it. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? You mean if you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interview? Yes, the police. I'm aware I'm a policeman. On interviews. I'm gonna go with four. Okay, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Like, I haven't done shit as far as I'm aware. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Look, man, you know, yeah. I'm gonna go with no. So the body is still in the tree. I'm going to assume the body is still in the tree. 
This is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. It is obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer be in the tree. Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Oh, I am a bad cop. Not like as in... An asshole. More as in... Incredibly ineffective. What if I told you I'm not really a police officer? He looks at you for a moment, in silence. I can see you drank last night and the night before, and that you are still drunk now. But I have seen officer officers go through much worse. Much worse. If you need something for your headache, there is a general store nearby, but as I said, the dead body should be our number one concern. Pain threshold. Yeah, a painkiller would be good about now. This thing is pulsating with comfort. Discomfort. Electrochemistry. The best cure for a headache is, of course, morphine. They won't have that, so cigarettes will have to do. Oh, Jesus. I don't... I don't... I don't know what to say to that. We're just gonna move on. New task, interview the cafeteria manager. New task, inspect the victim's body. Logic, trivial success. If you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? Wait. You mean... <laughs> okay. I'll be here. Kim Kitsura, you mean you don't have a badge? It wasn't on me when I woke up. Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I advise you to try and locate it as quickly as possible. But getting the body down should still take precedence. Lieutenant Kim Kisaragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by clicking on him. Well, isn't that useful? Okay. We're gonna go interview this guy now. The man with the unimpressive beard... <laughs> the unimpressive beard... ...notices you approaching. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the to the lieutenant. Mr. Gott, right? Oh, God. You run this place. Yes. He responds tersely. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation, so joining me from Prison 41? He looks to you, realizing he still doesn't know your name. What the fuck do I say to this?! You know, I'm gonna pour me some soda real quick. Like... I don't... I just... You know... Every once in a while... There's a video game, and I get stumped on whether or not to save a person, or to kill a person, or who to save, who to kill, etc, etc. This is the first time I've been stumped on how to answer the question of what is your name? And you know what? I'm gonna go with two. Two sounds good. What is gold and orange like a forest fire but smells of liquor? Are you kidding me? No, man, help me out. What is golden orange and smells like liquor? It's you. It's obviously you. You smell like liquor, and you're orange. <sighs> Just guess that. <sighs> hmm. 
Mmm, Dr. Pepper. See? Everyone ag agrees. It's your color scheme. We're on the right track with this name thing. Thanks, Brain. Thanks. Is this what you get when you call the police now? We've been waiting for a week here. Also, why has it been a week before anybody even... <sighs> okay. Sir, I understand your concern, but we are here to do a job. And for us to do it, I need you to stay calm. I, okay, Lieutenant Kitsuragi, um, he's been pretty calm. Considering there is a dead body on his premises that we have yet to remove for at least seven days. Yes, of course. He takes a step back. Authority, medium success. For a moment, the cafeteria manager fidgets under the lieutenant's cage. Then he gets I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene, but it also took you a while to call us. It was you who placed the call, correct? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. He looks behind a pile of coasters, finds a slip of paper, and hands it to the lieutenant. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What? In Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. Okay, is Jamrock a real place? Do I still have Google open? Come on, Google. There's eateries called Gem Rock. There is Gem Rock Enterprises. Yeah. I don't see any like cities called Gem Rock, so I'm assuming that's just something from the uh how do you put it uh, game. We're also gonna save the game real quick. Oh, I can't save the game mid conversation. Okay, that makes sense. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are. But as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. I didn't imply that. Detective? Who, me? Mm hmm. I have everything. You? Oh, you. Oh, oh, you mean, do I have questions? Yes, yes. He means, do you have questions for me? Like a police officer would. The cafeteria manager is clearly agitated again. <laughs> oh, King Kong! Oh, we're gonna. Okay, where exactly is the body? Behind this building, there's a courtyard. He points to the kitchen behind him. They hoisted him up on a tree. And how do we get there, then? That's easy. See that door there? He points to the west. First you exit through that, then to your right, then you should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the... Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. I think I got that right on the first try. Empathy. Does he want you to feel guilty of guilty of making that hole? It's implied in his voice. <laughs> Just what? Oh, that's too real. What the fuck? Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Alright, uh, we're gonna we're gonna ask the stupid question. I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. Did you kill him? What? Are you crazy? Of course I didn't kill him.
Half light, medium success. What is half light? Suddenly you tense up. Blood is being pushed to your muscles. You should hound him on this. Hound him hard. The prey drive says. Okay, I'm not gonna hound you on this. Oh, thank you. Three, why did Sylvie go away? She went away because none of your business. Fine. That's all. Task complete. Interview the cafeteria manager. Ex gained experience plus 30. Tim Kitsuragi. Let's go. Not so fast, he points to you. You owe me 130 real. No one is saying the multi pattern necktie you found tied to the ceiling and talk. No one. It must merely be. It must merely be. It must be merely imagination. But. Horrific necktie. Let's bail! Time to push the eject button. Sounds like a responsibility. You don't like this. What? What? Is the... Did the necktie just tell me to scram? Did the necktie just tell me to cheese it? Oh, what's real? Oh, excuse me. You owe me 130 real. He pronounces the R with a mock aristocratic accent. Encyclopedia. Trivia. Success. The IIR, or inter inter i solary Where's my Google? Enter I Solary. Uh, we're gonna go. Pronounce. We're gonna X. B. Definition. Okay. I don't. The intersolary real is the global reserve currency. Whatever part of the world you're in right now, it is safe to assume that he means you owe him some money. Oh, I understand. You mean I owe you money. Wow, you're a genius. That's right, money. You owe this establishment 130 real. He points to the red ledger on the counter. Horrific necktie. Who does that clown think he is? Arrest him! Necktie. We're gonna have to have a call. See, I'm a police officer. I shouldn't be trying to run away from paying for the room. Or arresting the manager for asking me to pay for the room. Okay. And also, why am I talking to the necktie? A horrific necktie. No one is saying that. No one is saying that the necktie the tie can talk. That would be ludicrous. It's just that you should arrest him. It would be wiser. He wants to take your money. We're gonna go with one. I'm not comfortable with this. Try to tuck the tie away somehow. The lieutenant watches you fiddle with your horrific tie. Sweat stains forming under your armpits. He puts his hand under your shoulder. If you don't have the money, it's okay. None of us are in, it, in this for the wages. Authority. That's cop for. I haven't offered to pay because I don't have any money either. <laughs> But what exactly is money? Oh, 
What are you, a philosopher? Actually, I might be. Since I woke up, I have trouble remembering even the most basic concepts of reality. We're gonna go with that one. We're just gonna go with that one. Money is what grown-up people use to pay for things. Things like this hotel room, or, he peeks into the ledger, or eight bottles of potent blend and nine packs of royal extra. We use it for everything, really. is this game? I don't... I don't even... Um... Why do I need it? For survival. To pay me. Unless you want to become a hobo. Do you want to become a hobo? There's nowhere else to stay in Martinez, and it's a cold spring outside. Money doesn't make you happy, but it lets you be unhappy for a while longer. If you run out of money, you die. It's like that for all of us. Me too. That's why I need you to pay me. He stops and says mostly to himself, I am not an asshole. Interesting. Where do I get it from? Are you serious? From your work? I don't know. You can take bribes, I guess. He looks at the lieutenant. I'm sorry. I don't think cops... I don't think cops take bribes. Some do take recompense. The lieutenant is dead serious. But only to survive. We're gonna go... Is this game? Um, we're gonna go with four because that seems like the most interesting option. Proceed, but don't show him the coins. They're your actually no. Proceed to show him the coins you found. Is this money? Yes, it is. Count them and give them to him. That's ten plus ten plus twenty equals forty. I'm now down to 90, right? No, you see... There's a tinge of sadness in his voice. That's 40 cents. <laughs> cents are a form of currency. 100 times smaller than the real. I'm not even going to take this. Come back when you have 130 real. 100 times smaller? Yes. But that's horrible! It is. He stands silently looking at the coppers on the counter. <laughs> what the fuck? For a moment, his antipathy, antipathy is overcome by compassion for the sheer smallness of the money. Pick up the coins. He demonst demonstratively suppresses a world-weary sigh. What happens now? He turns to the lieutenant. I'm sorry, but he has to pay. I can't let him stay here any longer. If he doesn't, if he doesn't have the money by tonight, then he shrugs. Officer, maybe you're better off working this from home now? You live in Jamrock, right? It's not that far away. Fuck, this place will take my chances on the street? Nah. I don't remember where my home is. Officer, a pattern of creases appears on his forehead. You really need to take this up with your station. I have a short wave radio in my car. Call them. Ask for assistance. We have to get this investigation started now. The man wants to say something, then he thinks better of it. Good luck. Oh god. What do I have in my inventory? Can I... Oh. Okay. Keys, key to room one, bullets. Do I not have money? 
Could not have a wallet. Oh, I can use WASD? What the fuck? The door is bolted. Oh. Can I go to this one? He points west of here. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank, and this place sure isn't it. I really don't remember. But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. I don't know. Near? South, maybe? Up on Marvel Hill. Why did you say that? These are just synapses firing. It doesn't mean anything. Lieutenant Kisaragi, do you know of a place called Marvel Hill? No, he thinks for a moment. But isn't that an expression, not a place? An expression? A saying, up on Marvel Hill. A great high place. One that is impossible to climb back to. That doesn't sound like some place you can stay if you run out of money. Could I trace the way back somehow? To the exact street? At the exact number on a building? I'll live in a dumpster. I don't care. Fuck everything. Hobo oh, cop. You can. Run some addresses in your head when you get the time. Maybe a street or an apartment will appear. Oh. We're not gonna do that right now. We're not gonna internalize shit right now. We're just not. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> okay, we go this way. Oh, Jesus. We're gonna talk to the kid. Got this. The boy throwing rocks at the dead body can't be older than twelve. Oh yeah, never could be Kuno. The fuck did you say? Yells the other kid from behind the fence. Hey kid, a word, please business. <sighs> can't talk, pig. She's coming up strong, throwing rocks. Electrochemistry. Easy success. Shit's coming up strong. That sounds good. Joyous. You should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. Juicy what now? I mean drugs. The kid's on drugs. Yeah, Kuno! Ride the lightning, Kuno! Ride the light? What the fuck are you kids Kuno's on? Kuno's riding it, see? He wipes sweat from his brow and sends another rock flying. The rake, Kuno! You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! The fuck does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener! Again. What the fuck do I... Kid, you want to hang out? I'm not a narc. Wink. Fuck no! Kuno doesn't buy that shit! Fucking entrapment shit! Yes, you're smart for a 12-year-old. I'll give you that. Look, I have questions for you. Alright! Entertain the Kuno! Show me what you got! What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got! I gotta ask, who is Kuno? Kuno. Kuno. Kuno's Kuno, pig. The boy points to his chest with both thumbs. Kuno. Primal. Violent. Kuno sounds like something you call a rabid dog.
So you refer to yourself in the third person. Kuno, is that some kind of gang name? Yeah, Kuno's in a fucking gang. And a bang gang. Kuno bangs for Madre. Bangs for the Mazda. Bangs for the Rivershaw. Empathy. He plays the names out there with pride and precision, like cards on the table. Right when he's getting distracted, there's a malevolent hiss behind the fence. Watch out, Kuno. He's trying to fiddle you. He's gonna put his hands on you. That thing behind the fence starts squealing, shrill and violent like a fire alarm. The song gets louder as... The... The... God damn it. I fought with my necktie and now I'm... Now I'm... Now I'm... Now I'm being accused of being a pedophile. Uh, I... Ooh. Ooh, things not looking good. The sound gets louder as, a, as the child shouts at the window is overlooking the yard. Help! Pigs got Kuno! Help! Rape! Help! The boy joins in. He's got the Kuno! Help! Calm down. Anyone watching you can see you're doing nothing. Just keep it professional. Horrific necktie. Fuck that! Confront him. Just answer the questions. Help! He's digging his dick out! Escalate, Kuno. His dick is out. You're afraid. Okay. So, uh, the red-headed child, who is about eight, who is on drugs, who I tried to ask if he wanted to hang out so I could score drugs from the eight-year-old ginger, has accused me of being a pedophile. <laughs> I don't... Okay. So, yeah. Kuno. And he's also been referring to himself in the third person for some fucking reason. I don't, I don't. And he's also throwing rocks at the dead body that's been in the tree for seven days that we haven't come and gotten for seven days. It is, it is, it's... It's been a hell of a game where every couple of minutes I'm completely just dumbstruck. Yeah, time to get locked up. I'm a cop, though. Like... I am the police. Okay, Kuno. Pigs are hurting Kuno. Somebody, please. It's full blast now. The wind carries the message far and wide across the Martinez. Who put you up to this? Are you high now? Physical instrument. Medium tent. Shut him down. Don't punch him. It's a bad idea. I'm going to go with three. Are you high right now? Help, misters. Help. He prances around. Eyes bulging out of their sockets, rolling hard, yelling at the windows. Electrochemistry. Medium success. Rolling super hard. Empathy. He is having the time of his life. Total ecstasy. Fuck the pig. What? What do you mean by fuck the pig? Brain empathy? What do you mean by fuck the pig? He's flashing Kuno! He's showing his genitals! If you don't help Kuno now, it'll be too late! I don't even...
Okay. I don't... I'm gonna go with, what is this sick charade? No, the boy screams, his freckled face contorted in a hideous, uncontainable laughter. Get off, Kuno, you sit fat, sick, fat fuck. Two, who put you up to this? No one, he whispered suddenly. Kuno's doing this because he likes it, pig. This is where Kuno establishes dominance over you. Help, the pig's gagging him. Kuno can't speak. Three, someone put you up to this. You put him up to this yourself when you decided to talk to him in the first place. Thank you, Kim. Listen to your... Hey, they blocked it out. They blocked out the... F word. Kuno hawks. A loogie on the ground. The phlegm is yellowish and bubbling. So Why is it bubbling? Okay, no one put you up to this. Help, the RCM is trying to fuck Kuno in the ass. Tears of joy mixed with sweat, smelling of laundry detergent on his face. Six, don't punch him, it's a bad idea. Look, gamer, Kuno whispers even softer than before, vanishing silently. I know you wanted to hit me, he lets it linger. You got that, I'm gonna fuck that Kuno up look. That Kuno's dad gets, the murder look, the rage look. No, but it didn't act on it. It was just a fantasy. I know what you thought. I'm gonna fuck that Kuno up. I'm gonna shut that shit down. You know what? You should've, because now he raises his voice again. You're nothing. You're a joke to Kuno. Kuno laughs at you. He spreads his arm, talking, taking dominion over the yard. King Kuno. Backing up was a bad idea. Now he thinks he's established dominance over you. Kuno turned you into his prison bitch. You're gonna be in it with this... in it... You're going to be in this shit with Kuno. Wait. The kids established dominance? No, the lieutenant almost rolls his eyes. You're not. We can just leave. Bitch, you're going to be in this shit with Kuno forever. The pipo-headed critter doesn't let him finish. Whatever, I have some questions about the crime scene. Okay, Kuno is kind to his bitch. Ask your questions, but remember, he taps his temporal lobe. This changes shit. Click, 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 goes the little pipo wearing asshole behind the fence. The body. What do you know about it? Shitload pig, what's your question? Uh. Pig's choking. He's totally choking. Authority, challenging success. The kids are overwhelming. Ring. If I were to waste my time, which I didn't. If I were. If I were to want to waste my time, which I do not, I would ask them who he is and how he got there, and the usual. You have no idea what the usual is. Just ask whatever comes to mind. Do you know who he was? Kuno's a fuck gimp. He picks up the rock. Kuno uses the fuck gimp for target practice. End of conversation. You're very strong. You should be this stoic. Do you know how I got up there? Probably the climb. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. So you didn't see it happening. You heard Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno was in Revachal. Puffs himself out. Kuno wasn't regional. Oh, okay. Where did you go then? I don't know. Some fucking... He looks around. Trying to come up with something. Mask or... I don't know. Some other place. Night City. Kuno was in fucking Night City. Okay, and about the dead body. Yeah, Kuno didn't smoke him, if that's what you mean. He draws the snot up his nose. Have you seen anyone suspicious around? Just a couple of pigs sniffing around in the dirt. That seems pretty fucking suspicious to Kuno. Yeah, you tell that... Gamer, Kuno. We'll run this later. Let's talk about something else. Mm. Or we're gonna go with empathy. Yeah. 
It's not Kuno, it's Kuno Kunoese. Interesting. How? Oh. Kunoese is by far the worst of the two. Kuno has no problem being near you, but the other hides behind the fence, afraid for her life. Like she's done something, something very bad. She came up with that psychotic scheme of screaming for help for. Kuno just wanted to talk to you about his name. Kuno S was the one who wound him up and directed him. All in all, Kuno respects Manus. You cannot hope to outdo her on that front. You must win yourself a few minutes alone with him. Act on it and try it and separate them. Kuno, psst. What are you whispering about? He whispers back. He's whispering too. He's going with it. But watch what happens. Fuck you! Whispering about. If Kuno whispers, he's gonna fucking whisper, okay? He turns back to you and hun hunkers down. Let's whisper, pig. This is it. You've got him. But careful. You can still fuck this up. Don't make Kuno look bad. What's what up with her? She's terrifying. Crazy scary. Crazy, he whispers tensely. You don't know the half of it. She's not crazy. She's insane. Dangerous. She smoked a man. She's done people in. Probably even pigs. Stop talking to him, Kuno. I'm fucking warning you. You're gonna get us into shit. She understands what you're trying to do. Yo, see, pops up. Pops his head up. Did Kuno tell... No, did Kuno not tell you? Kuno told you. Kuno talks to whoever he wants. He hunches down again. Talk, pig. Kuno's got it under control. You did it. They're separated. He's even turned his back to her so she can't read his lips. What do you mean? She smokes someone. Five. Is she your sister? Fuck no. She's not my sister. She's just a stray who got in. Like, a mad dog or some shit. Stray? Yeah, she was just there, he points at the apartment building behind the fences. What was that, Kuno? The little one twists her neck, looking at the building. Kuno flinches and lowers his voice even more. She was in the hallway, dripping wet by the fucking shoe rack in the dark. Why was she dripping wet? Kuno's got no fucking idea. Her hair was all wet. I think she pissed on the floor, too. She was there for three days, in the corner, every time Kuno went out. You said she got in. How? I don't know. Someone left the door open. Kuno comes home, she's sleeping under the desk, but under a pile of clothes, like a dog. What about your parents? Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit, doesn't even see her there, or thinks it's fucking Kuno. He points at himself, shit's all on Kuno. Kuno? Kuno S? Two of a kind. What do you mean she smoked someone? Kuno means she killed someone. That's right, C is a killer, stares at you intently. Like, actual killer. What if she has, Kuno? Really? Isn't she too small to overpower someone? Are you getting this? You think I'm fucking telling you a joke here? How hard do you think sh it is to kill a fat ash? He pokes you in the gut. Sweet talk him, then knife. She's probably killed a pig too. I mean, I'm pretty sure she has. Okay, how many cops has she killed then? Forget Kuno said that. Kuno was just shitting. Kuno was running his mouth. Kuno is stupid like that. He peels eyes on the back of his head and stops. The creature peers at you both from over the fence. There is nothing searching in her eyes. There is something searching in her eyes. Fear. Fear of the truth. Okay, you think she has anything to do with the dead man? Yeah, she would have liked to fuck him up, but she didn't. Kuno wasn't around, and C was with Kuno. Where were you? Look, Kuno's gonna put you at ease. We didn't do it. Huh. Oh, there is a lot of fucking dialogue to read in this game. Oof. Three, look. Okay, three. You said she's insane? Yeah, she's psycho. He leans even closer. You know that kitty psycho cut cat burning shit? She does the real deal. What's the real deal? Snuff radio shit. Believe me, pig. You wouldn't want to know. What's that language she uses? Fuck no, she says it in the song of her people or some shit. What people? Crazy people? The fucking Nackies? I don't know. Some things are too awful to ball on. The Nackies and the Rankaris must be some kind of defense mechanism. Why is she called Kuno S then? 
Because she's fucking looks like Kuno. You don't know her name? No one knows her name. Kuno told you sh this shit was Psycho Killer. How are you dealing with all of this? How's Kuno dealing? Kuno's dealing just fine. He doesn't need you fucking with any of it. C does neither. Kuno's got shit under control. He spits through the gap in his front teeth. You need backup? I'm here for you. Listen, listen, he points to his eyes, then yours. C is Kuno's go-to. Kuno's protecting her. You fuck with C, you fuck with Kuno. You threaten her? You threaten her to take you threaten to take her away? This is what it all comes down to. He needs you to take him seriously now. The boy looks back at you, black peoples trying to focus. I'm going to kill you. I'll run when you put the cuffs on her, sneak up on you later, and fuck you up. You understand? He may not be able to do it, but he will try. Right now he believes he will. I can respect that. Alright, he wipes the sweat off his brow. Now we can do business. He's breathing heavily. That took something out of him. Ooh, yeah, what do you want? Kuno can hook you up with. He starts no longer whispering. Don't hook him up with shit, Kuno! See, relax. He respects Kuno. Kuno may, made him respect the Kuno. You respect the Kuno, you get all kinds of shit. Kuno's gonna get you hooked up on illegal narcotics, chief. You run a little errand for Kuno. Get you hooked up, Peg. Get his hooks in you. Then Kuno's gonna get you hooking for more. Cash in big style pig hugger. What the fuck? I, uh... Am I gonna be turning tricks for a nine-year-old as a 40-year-old cop? What the fuck did I get myself into? <sighs> okay, I'm off. Kuno doesn't fucking care. I... I am, uh... I am... I am, uh, I'm not sure exactly what the fuck that was, but whatever. The Hanged Man. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human, as swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like, and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. You seem to be holding your breath. Look down. A cargo belt twists his neck in a, at an unnatural angle. The body below appears to be stiff. He's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. God, what is that? Three. This kid's ladder is rickety, but it's still climbable. Someone's trying to grow herbs in this greenhouse. The smell is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth more instant and more familiar than anything you'd expected. More fever than odor. It fills your mind, flushing you from within. To let it out. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, you feel a great force bringing you from the stomach. Your body curls and pushes out, burst by burst. Until a pool of vomit lies under your feet and your throat stings from the stomach acid. Uh, I'm sorry. It's okay. It happens to everyone. The lieutenant hands you his white handkerchief. Keep it. The hangover is clearly making this worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. You think ammonia would help? If you can handle the headache, he nods. Some officers use it to deal with a cadaverine odor. But not you? 
I can't handle the headache. It's more likely he can't handle the smell. He can handle the smell, unlike you. Sure you do. You just threw up a lot. Okay, but where do you get ammonia from? There's a fritty nearby, east of the hostel. They usually have a small apothecary. If they don't, he went to the greenhouse. There's a greenhouse here, and a gardener with a wheelbarrow on the corner uh, with a whirling new rig. She might have something for the smell. Having ammonia is a modifier to the endurance check. Modifiers make checks easier and allow you to retry them. Okay. What's this? The winch mechana mechanism has been oxidizing for some years. Okay. okay what's in there? We're gonna go check that out. This trash container is locked. The sighting Excuse me, the sliding rig has a padlock that says whirling in rags. There's something he in there. Not necessarily connected to the case, but still. Why am I looking at you, trash container? Why am I looking at you, trash container? You're just a crap trash container. Trash container. The body is downwind from here. Maybe prefer the smell of garbage to the smell of death? Lieutenant, what do you think could be in there? Trash? Food? Waste from the cafeteria? They lock these containers to keep the derelicts from flocking in. Could be evidence, too. Yes, I feel like there's something in there. Seems like a reasonable assumption. Mm-hmm. He leans in to inspect the lock. How do we get the lock open? We could try using a pry bar. There's one in my motor carriage, or... Or you can ask a key from the manager from the whirling rags. He probably has one. Two leave. Yeah, I mean, I would suspect the manager to have one. Oh, this game is fucking weird. Okay, so apparently there is an apothecary to the east of the Whirling Rags, so... We're gonna go that way. Also, I'm holding down both the left and right mouse clicks. Oh, money! Take off. I'm up to 97 cents, guys! I only need... 134 realm? Jesus. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and click on... What can we... Oh, this is the gardener store. Okay, I don't want to go to the gardener. I want to find the apothecary, which I'm assuming is the drugstore. What's this? Prate. Seek. What is this? What's in the lorry haphazardly litter the surrounding? this and honestly my voice is getting tired so I'm gonna go ahead and save and then I'm gonna go ahead and call it there 
Um, this game is hella interesting, and I'm gonna go ahead and continue it. Probably not tomorrow, but at least once a week I'm gonna go ahead and get back into this. <sighs> but for now, I am gonna go ahead and peace out. I gotta go rest my voice, because fuck, that's a lot of reading. <laughs>